Absolutely fantastic. That was a little bobblehead, Bob bobblehead, sent to me by a good friend, Mac Moolah Coins. And it's, it's amazing. I keep, I keep pressing Bob's buttons all the time. It's, uh, I love it. Anyway, let's get back to the painting. Uh, right, so this is a time-lapse painting, and I've, I've speeded it up just uh, for ease of viewing. We're going to paint a massive volcano. We're gonna, we need to let off steam, so we're going to paint a big volcano. So this, this canvas that you see, it's an old canvas and I, I painted on it before and didn't like the painting so I just zipped off the paint and just forgot about it. Got out the canvas again and I thought well I'll just paint over it and recycle it and it, something like that. And it, it's perfectly fine. I coated the canvas in a little tiny thin layer of oil, liquid clear as Bob Ross would use. And, uh, and now to that we're just, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to shift little Bob there because I don't want him getting painted on. So we've added into the sky lots of variants of colours, some, some Prussian blue, some black, some phthalo blue, some crimson, and we're just going to blend them together. And they'll mix together and, and in various degrees, mixing with the uh, liquid clear that's already on the canvas. And now we can come back in with a little bit of titanium white and that's going to start creating all sorts of little distant cloudy effects this just lives in your two inch brush we're just going to shake just got to shake these little clouds out that's all we do a little bit of a chaotic scene lots of color lots of activity going on and unfortunately there's no happy little trees in this one but it's a good fun it's a good fun painting Right, so some more white paint. Every now and again, I'll, I'll I'll wash the brush, dry it, and come back in. So I do have several of each kind of brushes, so uh, I don't have to spend all my time cleaning cleaning the brushes as I'm, I'm going along. And and that does actually pay dividends as well. You got two of each brush, and you use one for light colours and one for dark colours. You're not forever cleaning cleaning a single brush, and the paint, you know. You, it, Oil paint is expensive, and you don't really want to be, you know, washing your paints away. Uh, you know, the majority of your paint ends up in the bottom of your paint can, you know, your cleaning can. So, so, so two brushes at least, two brushes pays dividends. So, right, so yeah, so back to this. All we're doing, creating a chaotic little sky. A little bit of Indian yellow here on the underside of the, some of these clouds. Just a tiny touch. It's so strong and powerful against the white, against the white background. It is, but it's a lovely, warm, goldeny colour. Looks mischievous already. This guy, doesn't it? It really does. We'll add. We'll start adding some up here. We're gonna have a volcano. I didn't know where this volcano was gonna live, but I just had a rough idea in my head. So of course, with volcanoes and fires and and other activities like that, there's, there's going to be some dark, some dark clouds or, or smoke plumes or things like that. So one inch paintbrush and a little bit of dark paint, black, browns, whatever colour we've got going. Okay, you can see a little fan brush now. We've got taken cad, cad yellow and a bit, of, uh, a bit of the bright red, just mixed together, loosely mixed. We don't want to over mix them. Every now and again, I'll hit more, more of the red, maybe a little bit of crimson. It's so free, this style. It's so free. A little bit of more yellow down there at the base. This is where, this is going to be where the, uh, the big volcano is erupted, crashing and getting angry. Now, I don't usually paint volcanoes um, because I like, I like. I like good, calm, tranquil scenes. That's 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 what appeals to me. However, every now and again, and and in nature, you get these events, these these catastrophic events, and and this is my way of documenting them on on canvas. And also, also put my teeth back in. Also, with the, the likes of lightning, you know, we did a painting not so long back on on lightning. Um, the, the, the natural phenomena, so why not record it on a canvas? 
it's just the same as a big crashing wave, I suppose, and and, uh, and other things like that. It can be devastating, but it can also be quite beautiful. So all I'm doing here, and this little fine, it's almost like a makeup brush. It's 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 um, it's made out of pony hair, and uh, it's, it's really soft. It's really soft, and it's really good and useful for for blending the colours together without moving the paint far and wide over the canvas. And we can use it to paint with as well, like like we're doing here. We're taking a bit of titanium white, and we can uh, we can just dab in a couple of uh, highlights on this on this volcano. And of course, you can you can pick up some of the other colours like uh, the Indian yellow, crimsons bit of black every now and again and just uh, and just dab them in All right. now if you've just got a desire to to paint this is an absolute amazing painting to do because there are no strict set guidelines you know as a, as a tree will grow straight up you know so so that's some sort of guideline that you've got to got to stick to but um, but but with this the, the sky is all chaotic this this plume of smoke and fire is all chaotic the only thing that we'll we'll get around to doing that that has some sort of relevance and and uh, and, and and neatness and squareness is uh, is the volcano itself but but other than that everything's just just plowed on churned together and and it works and it works so if you've never painted before or you, you, you're a novice painter, give this one a go. You know, it'll work for you. I know it will. It really will. So just tickling that with that little bent, little blender brush, the pony hair, just like so. A little bit more white paint. And we can work it until we get it to the desired effect that we want. And that this is the reason why we put liquid clear over that that canvas could have used liquid white but liquid clear it, it, it keeps the colors more vivid it doesn't dilute the colors and that's what we want we can add white if we need to but uh, if, we, if we want to keep the colors nice and vivid it, it's it's a little bit difficult with a liquid white um, medium on the canvas that's what we're after that nice vivid colors and you'll see as we progress with the painting there we go just adding paint and, and the, obviously the liquid liquid clear or liquid white whatever you use it allows you to blend color up here on the canvas instead of towing your towing your bristles off <laughs> on the on the uh, old paint palette that's right so little little rounded brush let's work on the volcano so we're, we're going to put a little distant hill way back in here so this is just a little bit of a dark colour mixed it's a bit of brown Van Dyke brown mixed with uh, with a little bit of black just grab the paint and just pull blend it into nothing and then with a stronger colour so a touch more black we'll just start working on where this volcano should live now you need a crater in the volcano, so we'll work on that first. We'll just paint right over the bottom of that that eruption, and then start working on his on his volcano. Just scrub in that dark colour, just like that. That's all you need to do. Just adjust adjust the sides of this till you get it something like. There you go, sneaking in a little bit more dark colour on this side. That's it. There we go. Bit more up there, down. This looks like a natural place to have a, a lava flow, so we'll possibly, we'll possibly put a lava flow in there. Now, one of the greatest things in nature, I suppose, is is the eruption of uh, volcanoes and earthquakes. I, I, I'd like to see a volcano in action, but I'd not like to get too close, obviously, but um, I'd like to see one in action. It, it would be epic. It would be scary, exciting, 
and um, and, and nerve-wracking at the same time so if if you guys who are watching have if you've ever seen a lava flow a volcanic eruption or anything like that let me know you, you know because I'd, I'd like to hear your stories it, it it's something it's something I'd, I'd, I'd like to do but <laughs> it, 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 yeah I de definitely definitely not not be up close and personal to a, a volcano that's for sure Right, so let's just just tickle off the excess paint down here, and we'll blend we'll blend the base of that volcano out. We, we're going to have this volcano sat in the uh, in the sky, I think. Now we'll have some epic coloured clouds. Right, let's work on these lava flows. So we've taken thin oil, liquid clear, and we've mixed it with a little bit of cad yellow, and bright red. The reason why we're using um, the thin oils rather than paint thinners to thin as paint down is we've already got um, liquid clear on the canvas uh, and liquid clear being a thin oil if we were to use paint thinner and we will do further on in the video but if we were to use paint thinner now it would have a violent reaction and, and start to split the paint as we're painting and that's not the kind of effect that we're after just just at this moment in time so so that's 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 a little top dip right there let's add some clouds at the base of this now but you can check out my Etsy store if you wish I've, I've got some paintings on there I'm updating it every month with some new, uh, some new stock and if you if you fancy a, a little bit of a gander around uh, the Etsy shop please feel free to go over there I appreciate everybody that, 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 that spends some time over there it's so heartwarming all right, so with these clouds, we're just adding a little bit of undercolor to the base of these. And I said we're going to have some multicolored clouds. This is a, a light blue, well, light purpley blue to the base of this uh, to this cloud here. And we'll toy with these. We'll we'll bring them in in front of this uh, this this mountain of fire. Just blend the white and the blue, the purples together. Just tickle them, that's all you need to do. Just swirl them up, swirl them up. We'll add some more down here, with a little bit more of the purples this time. So if you have trouble making purple, if you're mixing it on your palette, a little, a little trick is, is to take a tiny bit of white, not add it into your main palette of uh, paint, or your main pile of paint, but just, just, uh, just a little bit off to the side, and that'll give you an indication of what colour purple you've got can alter the flavour, you can take it to a blue side or to the red side, whatever whatever you fancy, whatever you fancy that day. Just scrubbing in a touch of uh, the red down here, maybe that lava flow's got all the way to the base of the mountain. Maybe, I don't know. And again, just working on these clouds, that's all we're going to do now, just work on some, some clouds in this foreground. I have lots of different coloured ones. And of course, it's it's possibly something that we'll not get in nature as such, but but this is our canvas, and we can put whatever we fancy on this canvas. That's all we need to do. As long as we're happy, that's what should, that's what, that's what is important basically. What makes you happy, and painting makes me happy, and it should do you as well. <laughs> if it don't make you happy, you're doing the wrong thing. There we go. So we can add some different shapes of clouds as well, some streaky clouds. Maybe there's a gas pool building up here, and there's just some streaky sort of clouds that are, that are you know, lying on that, that gas pool. That's all we need to do. A little bit, a little bit of the dark colours and lights that's the other, it's just mixing contrasts as well that certainly is a multicolored painting i think the only color we haven't got in there is green <laughs> yeah we're gonna have all sorts of colors maybe it's all astronomical maybe it's on a far away planet this uh, this volcano that does happen it, well not that i've seen it but it it does <laughs> so if you like this video my fantastic friends please consider subscribing to the channel um, like this video and leave me a comment and, and you know what to do 
you know what to do. Now I've mixed up, now I have used paint thinner on this really thin paint. I want that violent reaction that I was talking about. So I've mixed black and red together and I've just taken some on the fan brush and just flicking it off the palette knife and that will give the indication of some, some little rocks here and there flying through the sky that have been blasted out the side of this mountain of fire. There we go, just adding some little red ones just like that. And then down here we'll put a little signature. So did you enjoy this one my fantastic artistic friends? I hope so, I enjoyed it. Bye from me and Bob and until next time. Happy days.